with a lot of games these days, Burnout 2 Point of Impact has been inspired by all the great movies of its genre. However, unlike many of its contemporaries, this game's managed to retain sight of the original concept, extreme driving. Without weighing it down with extraneous plot, storylines, justifications, or any other rot, this purity of vision means there's no missions, no story, but just fast cars and great fun. As you'd expect from a sequel, you get more of everything. The graphics have taken a big step forward, the lighting is beautiful, the music is pounding, and the sound effects really bring a feeling of power to these cars. There are no licensed tracks or cars in this one. Burnout 2 is all about the feel of racing, rather than any specifics. As such, you get 22 cars to play with, seven basic vehicles, two of which you may recognize from the original. Seven more variants on these, tuned up to the nines, what the Yanks would call exotics, and another seven you'll have to unlock, including a police car and stock car. The last car is a driving air vehicle, complete with roof bollard. But take a lesson in this car and you're not likely to be passing your test anytime soon. The tracks are much more exciting, all linked together by the interstate, but all distinct to themselves as well. You can expect to explore American-themed cities, mountains, deserts and coastline, while racing point to point or in laps. And the more reckless you are, the more awesome drifts. Racing into oncoming traffic, launching off the top of hills and driving about on two wheels, the more your power bar increases until it finally bursts into flames. It's racing the way it was meant to be. Fast, exciting and filled with explosive crashes.